Good morning, Chris. Yo, buddy. Hey, hey what's up? Y'all good? Yeah, yeah man. We're good. good. How, How are you doing? How have you been travelling? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Just working. Just staying busy. Exactly. <laughs> um, your sixth studio album, which is what I was just talking about, and the, the new song, Fine China, you released the music video, which is quite an epic video, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, thanks. You know, I just try to, you know, do do what I can and try to make something uh, special with the music I make. <laughs> so in the, in, the, in the video, you're dating an Asian girl whose dad is the head of, the, uh, of one of the gangs, and it ends on a bit of a cliffhanger. You're all pointing guns at each other. Is, is there going to be a sequel to that video clip? Well, you know, I think, I think for this video, I actually wanted to be more of a, of a kind of movie director and try to make it, you know, more of a suspenseful kind of thing that keeps people on the edge of their seats. So when I, when I did this video, I wanted to kind of, you know, bring that into the same text of saying fine China, but, you know, almost having it as, a, as like a, a double entendre. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jackie, I'm, I'm surprised that you even noticed that there was some sort of theme in the video clip. Why? Because you're, you're you're more of a dancer. You don't you you dance during songs. You don't sit there and watch, watch a video them. clip. I know, but you 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 you. Yeah, last time last time I was there, you did some some wicked moves. I I, I kind of <laughs> have to say. <laughs> I'm embarrassed about those moves. Oh, you should be. Yeah, especially in front of Chris Brown, who can really dance. <laughs> yeah, you, you you white girls should just stay grinding, just grind, no dancing. I'll shake that booty. Yeah. I can shake it. <laughs> oh no, you, you just yeah, you just got a twerk. You just got a twerk. That's all you got to do. Twerk, yes. <laughs> hey, hey, Chris. I was just telling Jackie last week. My new girlfriend and her girlfriends are getting out of their car at traffic lights, and I think this is quite dangerous, and twerking with all the doors open until the light turns green. And I've said, look, don't start this as a trend, and I don't want her doing that because she's my girl and she's twerking at the traffic light for everyone to see. Oh, we, we, call, that, we call that SLW, stop light, I mean SLT, stop light twerking. <laughs> ah, so it's a thing. It's already a thing. I don't like it. Yeah, that's called that's that's called stoplight twerking. You pull up at the stoplight, bust out, bust that thing wide open. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you do that, Chris. Oh God, God. Hey, um, the other day we were talking about songs that have been uh, passed over in the past. Like Britney Spears apparently rejected Telephone, and Lady Gaga because she wrote it ended up using it. Yeah. Have you yourself ever rejected a song that you kind of wished in the end, oh maybe I should have done it because it turned out to be this great hit? Well, you know, uh, I, I really haven't rejected any songs because usually if I, if I think it's a hit, I'm going to take it or I'm going to sing it. But what I have done is, is write songs, and, and then they come out as singles for me and became number one songs like Strip, uh, no, no BS, and other songs. I wrote them for like Tank and Trey songs and other people. So um, at first they didn't take it because they didn't get it, but then after a while... You know, I put it out myself and went number one. For yeah, <laughs> that's the best revenge ever. That's perfect. <laughs> I'm loving that. So, so where are you living these days? Are you an L.A. guy or are you here in New York? Well, I'm back and forth. I've been in New York for like a couple of weeks. So uh, I'm mainly stationed in L.A., but I try to get back on the East Coast every now and then so, so you know, I don't have any uh, yeah. rivalries uh, from, from East Coast, West Coast. Oh, he West Coast now. Yeah, oh, you <laughs> don't want that. You don't want to start that all up again because that got ugly for a while back in the 80s and 90s, didn't it, all that yeah. East Coast, West Coast sort of stuff. <laughs> Yep. And, you know, and, you know, and God, no one wants to live in the middle because that's hillbilly town. So, you know, you've got to pick a coast. Yeah, you, 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 you don't really want to be neutral because really nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we, I, 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 Jackie's not going to care that much, but um, I've got to talk about some uh, what cars you got now because I see you you got the, uh, the Lambo in the video clip. Uh, what, what sort of cars are you driving these days? Well, you know, I got the actual Lambo from the video. is not a rental. It's actually mine. So most Ooh. people use it and use rental cars. No, I actually no, got that, my car in the and video. That, that's the so. Aventador. That's the, that's the Aventador, that one. I love that Lambo. Yeah, I got that one. And I got I got actually two Aventadors, a gray one and an orange one. And then I have a, um, a little uh, Gallardo that I just revamped and kind of I kind of made it like a Hot Wheels toy. Oh, cool. And then I got a couple other cars, but, you know, who's, who's, who's bragging? Oh, yeah. Carl likes to do oh, that. I know, I love cars. He loves bragging about yeah. his cars. Dudes love cars and chicks love it, uh, clothes. We love, we love our shoes and bags. Yeah, well, we love shoes too. We, <laughs> yeah. we like, I like sneakers like and, you know, that sort of hey, stuff. Hey, uh, Chris, you tweeted, yeah. you tweeted the other day saying shit is overrated nowadays. What was that in reference to? For me, I just feel like, you know, everything is overrated. Some people, you know, you might go outside and be like, oh, my God, you didn't stop all the way at the stoplight. You stopped a little bit and you kept going. 
<laughs> like, it's overrated. Like, people people make a fuss about boo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah. that's why I'm yeah. like, it's cool. Now, you, you the birthday. Uh, how old? We're talking 24 now, right? 24 years old. Mm. Yep. And, and Vegas is in yeah. order, I hear. When? Well, you, well, as far as what? Are you celebrating in Vegas? Birthday party? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, have, I actually have three birthday parties scheduled. I got one in L.A., one in Vegas, and one in New York. So we're just going to have fun, and I'm just trying to have, you know, the best time and basically celebrate with, with, with my fans and, and, all, and all the people that's in the clubs and, and the parties because, you know, it's my birthday, but I don't really like to celebrate unless I can have everybody else having fun. Yeah, have true. you ever had uh, a surprise party thrown for you? I'm too nosy, so they gonna, yeah. I'm going to find out. It's fine. As soon as they try to throw a surprise party for Brown, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be like, hey, f- this bitchy. Why do we have to go here today? Uh, what's, the, <laughs> what's the best present someone could get you this birthday? Honestly? Yep. Uh, well, best present for me. I know I ask for, just for peace, you know, just for, just, you know, center, center of your zen, your, whatever peace you need, clear mind. And that, that's what I would really want. But I'm 24. I'm going to be in Vegas. So I really want to see as many girls as possible. <laughs> <laughs> so now hang on. Now, now, if you want to see as many girls as possible, what's your status? Because we don't know. You're like, you're on are off, you you're on off, you're on off. So are you, are you going through this birthday solo? Nah, yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a solo. I mean, at the end of the day, Shorty doing her thing. She on the road. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. And then you hook up later. Oh, oh, always. It's always gonna be love. But you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm just gonna do me. I'm 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 grown man. So (laughs) I just gotta just gotta you know. Man, how how do you how do you have that conversation? Like, how do you get them to agree to that? Because yeah, just to be on a little (laughs) sabbatical. That's just Chris can do that. to say, I was about to say, tell, tell me when, tell me when you find out, because I still have that yet. <laughs> uh, another thing I wanted to bring up was um, just quickly. Remember the photo that came out? Your your, your selfie there. Um, everyone here in the office. Oh yeah, saw when it. I was naked. Yeah, yeah when, when you were naked. naked. Man, yeah, yeah, no, no, come on, man. Like that. That's not. Is was anything altered there, or is that what we're dealing with? Oh, no, I, I, I'm working with a baby monster. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, you are. That you thing's are. the Loch Ness monster. That's I know. A... <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was, that was leaked by somebody else, though, wasn't no, it? Oh, yeah, right. If I had that, <laughs> I'd be leaking it myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, by the way, uh, the, I'm, I'm going to uh, Rihanna's concert during the week uh, in the New York one, the Bronx or whatever that is. Yep. Uh, is it worth? Hey, it's pretty dope. You should, go, you should go see it. Yeah, I'm it's, gonna. It's I'm gonna dope. see it. And so, uh, how long do these things go for? These concerts these days. Uh, well, usually like if I do a show, it's maybe like an hour and thirty. Because I don't really. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to drag a show. I want to give you a, a good show yeah. and kind of leave you one more. You know, her her show is about the same time, about an hour and thirty. So it's it's real good. All the hits, all the great songs she has, all the all the. All the top records she has, she she does her shit. So I went to the show like I think when she was in Staples Center in LA. I came out here, so oh, yeah. it was pretty dope. You know how Sweet. you were saying that you you guys are like on a on a sort of break. I don't know. You you you. She's got her thing. You've got your thing. Do you feel like you two are soulmates that you are always going to end up back together? And you know, oh, she's a fantasizer. This I one. Like, I, I like. I mean, it. At, the yeah. end, at the end of the day, I, well, I just put it at this because you know what I'm saying one thing. One thing. I always want to do is never disrespect anybody or, or, or put nobody down. So, 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 so the way the way I look at it is, you know, I, I'm always gonna love that person. But people have differences and people have different wants and needs. And and, and at the end of the day, she's a young girl. I mean, I can't I can't really be really be focused on wife and somebody that young, you know, at the end of the day. And I'm young too, so I can't I, I can't focus on that right now. I just got to step forward and, you know, yeah. be a man and, and be the best Chris Brown I can be instead of worrying about, you know, yeah. whoever I mean, else is going to be in my, you know, side pocket. You, you know the song, um, I think it's it's a new release song, I Can't Win. Is that is that about Who's feeling song like... Is it? Yours? Chris's, yeah. Yeah, 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 Chris's. No, nah, I mean, you, well, well, for me, it's, it's just basically about anything in general. So my music... Is my music speaks for itself. So whatever you listen to on a song, whatever you take from it, that's exactly what I wrote. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I don't, I don't know if you remember, Chris, but I came to your, one of your studios a couple of years back, and we sat down and we listened to about oh, I 30, that. I, 38 I about, songs. I was about 18 and 19 at the time. Yeah, we listened to about 38 songs, and you so many different great tracks. You had all those 
all those big oh. anthems and you had all the R&B stuff. And Remember we, we had a big discussion about you were like, you know, I said you could have four albums here and you said, well, you've got your R&B fans and you've got your, you got your party fans and how do you figure out what, you, what you're going to bring out on each record? I reckon you should maybe actually put out four CDs. <laughs> yeah, like for me, you know what it is? All my Ozzy fans have been so supportive and most of the records that I put out, you guys like, so I love that. Yeah. You know, and so... Like, America is a little bit more finicky, but as far as this album process, I really went into what I liked and what I wanted to write about and, you know, who I wanted to be as an artist. So I didn't, I didn't really kind of look at the, the critics or the, or the genre kind of bored to see, yeah. okay, is my record going to be on top 40? Is it going to be R&B? Like, I really wanted to be like, whatever music I put out, they're going to have to play it wherever because this is just going to be a, a definition of who I am. Yeah. And you're still awesome. doing the art because you were doing all the spray art stuff too as well. Oh, yeah, man. If you, I know you probably can look on the internet and probably see uh, paparazzi pictures of all the, all the paint I did to the house. I painted my whole house, like I, the whole outside, downstairs, everything. So it's like it's like a big museum when you come here. It's all paint. <laughs> awesome. See, that'll look nice in Beverly Hills, a big graffitied house. <laughs> hey, uh, Chris, before you go, we've got yep. some big fans on the phone who want to say hi and, and, uh, and have a chat. Jen, you are on the air with Chris Brown. Go hi, ahead. Hi, Jen. What do you want to say? Hey, Chris, how you doing? How are you I'm doing, Jen? Great, great. I just want to know, you know, I'm, I'm sure that you live an awesome lifestyle. I'd like to know what is the most extravagant thing you've ever bought yourself. Yeah, good question, Jen. Wow. Now, now usually when I, when I, when I go on and, and answer the question, I'm going to answer it for, but I hate to brag because everything that I get is from my fans, everything that I've, that I've accomplish every earning, every money is because somebody said, we like Chris Brown and they went and bought my CD and they went and loved me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. everything that I do have, I have to thank my fans for. But the most expensive thing that I have on myself, I bought a $100,000 uh, Audemars. Just a watch. Oh. oh nice. That's, that's now, ex- my, my cars are different because they're, they're bigger, but that's just like something you don't re- really need to waste your money on. Yeah. yeah. So I kind of did that. Yeah, it's that's... just one, one time thing, I won't, buy, I won't be buying three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Martine, what is your question for Chris Brown this morning? Go, Martine. <laughs> Hi, Chris. How you going? Love your music. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, man. Um, my question for you is, what do you find most attractive in a woman? Honesty. Cool. Honesty, cool. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say I find myself most attractive in a woman. <laughs> oh, hey, <What>? me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kate, I'm, go I'm, ahead. I'm, I'm most attractive in a woman. All <laughs> oh, right. The last one here, Kate, Kate, you're on with Chris Brown. What's your question? Um, I want to know if it's true whether you had sex in the first class on an aeroplane. Oh, yeah, I heard that too. Is oh, that... yeah. You did it. true. I'm a nasty, nasty little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you reckon the hosties knew what was going on there? Knew they were in it. Uh, no, nah, because I was pretty quick. I ain't even going to front. I, I kind of, it, it was kind of quick. No, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't an all-nighter. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it wasn't one for the record books. It wasn't one for the record books. <laughs> well, Chris, man, uh, look, if you're in New York, uh, give us a buzz, buddy. Nice to talk to you. The new single, Fine China, is out right now. The album X is out July 16. Mark it in your calendars. Go and get it. Get it off iTunes. Nice to talk to you, buddy. Hey, man, it's a pleasure. Anytime y'all want to talk, I love y'all, man. I appreciate all the love. We love Thanks, you too. Chris, Chris Brown uh, this morning here at the Kyle and Jackie O Show.